Hey everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to the channel and my craft table. I'm so glad that you're here with me this evening and welcome if you're new. It is so nice to meet you. So today's project is super fun. We're going to make some coffee shaped cards using our Cricut. Now I'm going to, down in the description, I'm going to link the design space link for you so that you can cut these out yourself as well. And I'll show you, um, these are my test prototype kind of ones here. And then the two that we're gonna do tonight, I'll show you kind of the pieces that are in Cricut Design Space. But I wanted to tell you about these cards before I start putting them together. I'm gonna do one similar to this one. And this particular card is obviously, it is a shaped card and it has the traditional coffee sleeve. This is so fun. So this is gonna be two pieces of paper that are cardstock, and they get glued together a specific way and they are a sleeve. I have a circle um, cut out in the uh, project link. And then this sticker right here, that's a print and cut sticker. And I can leave that in the project file for you and you certainly do not have to use it, but I thought it was really cute. Um, so we have that. And obviously this would be for a teacher. Then um, on the outside of this card, so they look like this, right? On the outside of the card, I did some ink blending. So we'll talk about that. And then the lid pieces, there's two of those to help build up some dimension. And then when you open it, the fun. So there's a little panel here and it has the two slits to hold your gift card. Now, if you don't want to give the recipient a gift card, you certainly can leave this little inner panel off. You don't have to glue that down on there. But if you are wanting to use this as a gift card holder, then I have this little panel ready for you and you just glue it down. Don't glue the little tabs and then you can stick your gift card in. So we're gonna make one of these, and it is gonna have like um, um, a, a green, blue, orange, you know, um, kind of color scheme to it, okay? So there's one, and then the second one is going to be a shaker card. I just love shaker cards. I'm not super great at them, but I keep trying them because eventually I think I will get good at them. So for the shaker card, again, you have the big coffee, right? And um, what you'll have is you'll have a back panel. This white piece back here is actually a panel that holds the shaker elements. We have an acetate window. And then I have this little frame here that went on top and then a band. And I've actually improved the cuts for this in the file. So um, it's a lot more streamlined and clean. I'll show you, it's gonna be so great. And then of course your shaker elements. And then on the inside, now for this test product, I just, you know, I have like a little panel and I just glued it right around the edges and it made like a pocket. So this will still hold a gift card. You can still, it's open, so you can still just stick a little gift card in there. You could stick a little note. You could stick some money, kind of, you know, whatever suits your needs, or you could leave it off just like the other one. So these are the two types of cards that we're gonna make this evening. Now I do have everything already cut out, prepped, and ready to go, so it will make the most use of our time. And again, I will be linking this project file for design space down in the description as well as um, a list and link of all of the elements that are used in the cards for this evening. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First card that we're gonna work on is the one that requires some ink blending. So when you open design space, you know, you'll see all of these different elements, but what I did is I cut out the um, coffee cup and this is welded together and then there's a little score line and you can see it right there and then it just gets folded and i don't know where my boom folder is at the moment 
you can always, if you don't have a bone folder, you can always use your, your little scraper tool or your Cricut projects. Okay, so this gets folded and pressed down really well. Then I have the inside panel that has the slits for our gift card. We're going to be gluing that down. And I did resize this just slightly so that you get a nice white border. This is a little bit different than my test product, but I just thought the nice white border with some colored cardstock made for a great um, choice. So we're going to do that. We have the two uh, lid pieces. We're going to be gluing these together and then on top of here for some dimension. And then I have here, these are going to be the sleeve. Now again, along here, along this edge, there's a score line, and so this is getting folded there, and then this one here is getting folded like this, and then okay, and then these will get these will get glued together. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and oh, the other thing is the circle. Okay, so here's the circle, and then this is my little sticker I made with um, just regular uh, Cricut sticker paper, and that I'm going to be putting that on the circle. You could certainly, you could write something on here by hand. You could use your Cricut and have it write something for you. you the, in, the possibilities are endless for this little circle here. But let's go ahead and do the ink blending. So... Oh, and the, as far as the scoring is concerned, in the design file, um, this has a score line on it, and these two have a score line on them, okay? But if you don't have a scoring stylus like this or a scoring wheel, you can um, click on the score line in your layers panel on the side, and you can delete that and just, you know, fold them and score them yourself. So lots of options for you. Okay, so the, I'm going to bring in my Misty because I'm going to use it to hold down my coffee cup. And I have like a little, it's a, it's like a tacky, um, it's like a tacky, not, I don't want to say a mat, but it's like a little sticky mat. It's not real sticky at all. It's very, very, very low tack, which I like because it's great for paper. And then I'm going to take my card and I'm just going to put it right here in the middle, just like that. And I am going to go ahead, just because I don't want anything to move, I am going to go ahead and put that um, magnet down. And then I'm going to bring in my mint tape. And the reason why is because I want to, basically I want to mask off, and I don't think I have a very long piece. Okay, so I just want to mask off right here where the lid is. I don't, I mean, even though I'm going to be covering up the lid, I really just don't want to put ink on it. Okay, so for the little circles, then I'm going to be using my Concord and Ninth Confetti Dots Turnabout Stencil, and it is a 6x6. Six six. Ooh, sorry for that glare. And um, this was a great purchase. I think I got this when they did like a warehouse sale or something. But anyway, basically what you do is you put down your stencil like this, and then you ink blend, and then you pick it up and you turn it okay i am going to have to wipe it off in between so i have just a little towel here and some rubbing alcohol and that will make for quick work to just wipe off this stencil so what i like to do is i like to just look and see do i like that particular um, frame of dots it really isn't going to matter but it, sometimes i just like to look and see and okay all right there we go and each time i turn it it's i'm going to line it up in the middle here or in this corner okay so the first um 
let's see, the first color I think I want to use, well, let me just tell you what colors I have. Um, I have Peacock Feathers, Spiced Marmalade, Old Paper, that's my neutral, and then I have a green. And this green is mm, kind of the closest to the green that I picked out from my scrap bin. It's, you know, I don't really have a perfect match, so it's kind of the closest that I had. So basically, I am going to use four different colors and I'm just going to ink blend. Okay, let's top that off. And essentially, I'm just going to go around the stencil just like this. And if you, um, if you saw one of my earlier videos, you can actually make your own stencil using acetate sheets. You would just put a bunch of dots and have your Cricut cut them out. I will link um, a, I'll put a link to that video. And I did two different ones. I did one where it's uh, just shapes and they make flowers and it's really nice and easy. Then I did one with words, and I think making your own stencil with for words is a little bit more complicated because, you know, some letters have the inners, and that was not something that I kind of really thought about. So, going forward, I think that when I use my Cricut to make my own stencils, I will probably steer clear of words and just stick with images and shapes but anyway um, I do have a tutorial that teaches you how to make your own stencil so if you don't want to buy one or you you know you aren't interested in buying a stencil but you kind of want something different well then you have an option so I'll link that for you too okay so this is our green now truly I could just leave it just like that. Okay, so let me bring this in. All right, see how it, it doesn't quite match, but it's fun, right? Okay, so this is my green, and I could stop here if I wanted to. Let me cover this back up. This, by the way, in case you're interested, is Concord and Ninth Eucalyptus, and I really like this color. It's just one of my favorites. Okay, let me clean this off super fast. Basically, the alcohol is pretty much instant drying, so that is how I clean my stencils, is I just use a rubbing alcohol, and okay, so there it's ready. All right, so this is how it was a second ago. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna turn it 90 degrees, and you can turn it to the left or the right, depending on how you want to do. Okay, so here is the next one. Let's go ahead, let's do Peacock Feathers. Okay, so tap that off a little bit because that Peacock Feathers will come in very strong. Kind of had this card project rolling around in my brain for a while. Um, I've seen um, there are dyes out there by some great companies that create these um, coffee cup cards for you. Um, but with it being back to school and me being a teacher and having a teen, I uh, definitely don't have the means for buying extra dies right now, but I really wanted to make a coffee cup card for teachers for back to school. So I just had the Cricut help me make coffee cup cards. All right, so let's see what this looks like. I think I'm gonna leave that the way it is. I don't wanna make it any stronger there. Okay, click 
clean up this mat. Okay, and there it is. Okay, so now I'm going to rotate it a third time. And I think this time I'm going to go ahead and use the Spiced Marmalade. This is one of my favorite colors as well. I just really think it's so fun. Okay. And we're just going to go around again. So we are coming into the home stretch for summer to be over, sadly. And school will be starting soon. In fact, I think um, I think some people, some of my friends down in Texas have already started school. We still have a couple of weeks. And so I'm trying to enjoy those last few weeks. And then um, I went up today and took some stuff up to my classroom. They were, I guess they had just finished cleaning the carpet. So everything is over in one corner. So I'll have some, definitely have some work to do. I'm kind of hoping that they will at least put the large pieces back. And if they don't, it's okay. So you can see where like this is really strong and deep, right? And then the others are pretty light. So I probably will go back over and make this orange just a tad darker. You could not use the stencil at all. You could just mask off like I did and you literally could just ink blend the whole thing with, you know, a variety of colors and just kind of be, you know, like when Starbucks or, you know, Dutch Brothers or whoever, you know, they have their holiday cups and the cups are already colored different holiday colors you could totally the sky is really the limit see how that looks okay that's not bad I tell you I wish everything could get cleaned that fast that is just super fast let's see there okay last turn you could even um, if you had a stamp like this or you made a stamp like this, you could even um, you could even just do all four turns with the same color. Like you you don't even have to use different ones. Okay, we're coming into the home stretch. So tell me down in the comments. Um, you could even use little emojis. Are you a coffee? Are you a coffee person or are you a tea person? Coffee or tea? Or maybe neither. Maybe you're a soda. Soda. I used to drink a lot of soda. Like a lot. It was really a problem. And it really just made me tired and... I just never really felt great, so I stopped drinking soda, and pretty much these days um, I drink about 100 ounces of water a day at least, and the rest is coffee, and I drink a lot of it. have a little Keurig in my classroom. It's very nice. But yes, tell me down in the comments if you are a coffee or a tea person. Or soda. Coffee, tea, or soda. Or maybe my favorite, maybe you are like, you know, a margarita girl or something. I don't know. But I can't really have those at school, so I have to stick with coffee. Okay, so I think I'm going to call that good. You know what this reminds me of? My daughter loves those, what are they called? Boba, boba teas. They're like, to me, they look like a milkshake. 
but they have like these round bead things in them. I, I don't even know. I, I don't understand it. I don't get it. But she loves them. And has anyone ever had what I'm talking about? A boba? Yep. So this, this kind of makes me think of that. I'm going to pull this off. I really like this mint tape. I finally got a roll and it's it's tape. It's really low tack and it's it has like a paper feel to it. So this is still really sticky. I think I might just hang on to that because I'm probably going to make some more of these. And then this, I'm just going to pull this up and this sticky mat really is funny because it does not feel sticky like it doesn't but then it holds my paper so I think it's magic all right I'm gonna put this on top of there all right let me do a super quick cleanup just so we can get all this out of the way and then we will put this card together okay so now what we're gonna do is I've let this dry for a minute or two while I you know, cleaned up and everything. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get all of these elements down on the on the card. So I'm just going to get my little runner here. And I am going to first, I guess it really doesn't matter the order, but I have a little dot runner here. And I'm going to put that down on the card. And then I'm going to put just a smidge of craft glue and I'm going to put the first layer of the lid down and the glue just gives me a little bit of float time so that I can make sure I have it in the right spot. Okay. And then do the same thing again. I absolutely think these cards are so fun. Okay. And then I'm going to put this one down. Get it all lined up nice and even. Okay, all right, so I don't know if you can tell, you can see here, you can see the dimension, and it's just fun, right? So you could even color the lids if you wanted or use colored cardstock. All right, so there's that. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to put this on the inside. Now, I have to be really careful not to put glue on these half circle pieces. We're just going to put some dot runner down. And this is slightly smaller, so I am going to put just a little bit, very light layer of glue, and I'm going to grab my, um, my reverse tweezers, because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, and I really should have left this in my Misty. Let me grab that. So that this card isn't like going everywhere. I'm just going to place it here so it doesn't, doesn't go anywhere. And I just want to get it kind of lined up. There we go. Okay, very nice. And then I can still put my, my gift card in there. So this is ready to rock and roll. Perfect. Okay, 
So now, I don't need this anymore. Move that off to the side. So now we're going to go to these. Okay. So these are basically like little trapezoids and or parallelograms. Nope, they're trapezoids. And they have like a little wing here on the side. And then this one, um, I, I off camera, I cut it. It was here, and I had to cut it, put it over here. So I'm going to fix fix that in design space for you because what I noticed is that because I used a because I used a, a pattern paper and it's not double sided that when this was over there it wouldn't it wouldn't fit together right. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that for you. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of glue so not a ton, and we are going to just line up the top and bottom corners on that fold, there we go, and then because we scored it, it'll fold like this, oh, got to give the glue some time. Sorry about that. Before I give this card out, I'll just make another one of these because I'm just demonstrating for you like what I did is I put a little bit of washi there. I'm not going to give this to a recipient, but I wanted to make sure that you saw the whole sleeve process. So I will recut this before I give it out. I'm going to just put a little glue on this side over here. And, oh, you know, the, I think I know why, because yesterday I used my dot runner. Okay. And then what I like to do is grab, you know, put my fingers on both sides and just kind of press like this. And that way I know that it's getting pressed, but it's not sticking to both sides. Okay. So there's our little coffee sleeve. It looks so good. And then I'm going to give that a minute. Okay, so the next thing then is this guy. Now, because I'm giving this to a teacher, I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. You certainly don't have to. You can just put the circle on here. You can leave it blank. You can write on it. You can do all kinds of things. But... I have to laugh. I um, don't know what I did with my print and cut, but for the first time ever, it would not. Um, I think it had something to do with my registration marks, but it was giving me trouble. So I just have them off to the side and I've gone around them with a a little circular thing and but what I like about the print and cut sticker paper is that I can make a bunch of these and then I can put whatever I want on these with a, with some kind of graphic and then I can put it here so again I will I will leave this in there for you in the in the design space this sticker is a print and cut um, sticker that is kiss cut and then it has a die cut edge so it'll be really nice and neat for you I think everything is ready just making sure okay that inside is that inside is dry okay so we're gonna just stick our coffee sleeve on onto our coffee just like that and then I'm going to use my dot runner. And you can use whatever adhesive that you want. Um, you could even use some foam tape. I am just going to leave it flat. But you could certainly use some foam tape and pop it up. And then I'm just going to stick that right there in the middle. 
here's this card. It says, Sib Sib Hooray, Happy First Day. And I actually am glad I did that orange because it does match with the little um, pencil. So, okay, there is this one. Now, let's go ahead and um, do the second one, which is a shaker card. Our shaker card, um, I still have the same coffee, okay? I have the same inside panel for the gift card. And then on the front, oh, I do still have the, the lid. So I'm going to kind of set this aside for right now because we're going to work on the shaker part first. This is going to be the background for our shaker elements. And then this will be the front. Look how cute that's going to be. Okay, so I have some acetate here. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to take this and we're going to kind of wrap it um, wrap it on the three sides. Basically, I'm going to make like a little pocket like this. I'm going to fill my shaker elements in here and then I will fold this back and wrap the last bit. So let's, I'm going to put that there. That's going to go on front of the whole thing. And we've got our sentiment. We're going to put a little sentiment on here. But let's go ahead and pick out some things because I thought that these little flowers would be great. And then I like the, let's see, I do like the idea of having some green for the leaves. And what else? Here is, here's just some basic gold glitter. I think I'm going to go with that. Okay, I think, mm, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with those three little things and so for your shaker elements, you literally can put what you want, combine colors, combine elements on this last one. I just used two different types of gold and a pink. And I think it turned out really well. So, okay, let's get this squared away. This is like some tearaway kind of tape. There we go. And I'm going to use this. So, because you know that acetate, um, I don't want to have to wait for glue to dry. So, we're just going to use this little tearaway tape. This will secure everything to the back. I am not going to take that off right away because that one needs to stay open, that side there, because we need to put our elements. The other thing I'm going to do is sometimes in my shakers I feel like things get stuck. So I'm just going to take some anti-static powder and I'm just going to put it like this just because I don't want my elements sticking to a spot. Okay, how did I... let's see. Earlier I was messing with this. Alright, so I'm going to put this here. Okay like that and basically what I'm do is I'm going to be folding these things up so just like like so so let me get I take that off okay I'm going to bring this down all right so that bottom edge is now taped down, okay, and then I'm going to be doing the same thing along the sides. So I want to not have so much bulk, 
I'm just going to kind of cut away right here. You're kind of like if you were like wrapping a present. Okay. And make it a little more angled. This is basically a flat shaker. And the, I like flat shakers because if you decide to mail a card that is a flat shaker you still get the shaker fun but you don't have to pay for the extra postage you know because it's not it's you know pretty much flat it's not bumpy and three-dimensional so i do love the three-dimensional shakers i'm just going to Trim off. You don't need a ton along the sides. So what I'm using is I am using acetate. You know like when you buy your supplies and it comes in like a bag? Um, or you decide to retire a Cricut mat and it's got the plastic part and everything. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm using because it's thin and it's pliable and it's recycling what you have. So um, you can use acetate sheets for sure. I like to save those for more of the, my 3D cards and I like to save those for my stencils also. Okay. So now, basically what I have is I have a little pocket. Then we're going to just fill in our shaker. Now, this should hold really well. If you are worried that, you know, the glue isn't going to hold too well, then you can always add a little bit of washi back here, just down here along this bottom where we had to fold it over. Like you could do that, but really, it's really not necessary. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill our shaker card. I'm just gonna open it up like a little, little pocket. And then we'll add some gold glitter. And you can certainly fill your shaker with as much or as little as you want. Okay. And now what we're going to do, let me move those out of the way, is we're going to close up the back. So for the back, I'm going to grab that last piece, just like that, okay, and then I'm actually going to add, uh, this is a long, this part is longer than the other, so I'm just adding a little extra tape. So I'm just going to fold this over like as if I was wrapping a present, and then I'm just going to bring this over just like that. All right, so we got our little pockets all closed up on all three sides. There we go, there's our shaker, and that looks so fun. Gosh, that's very bright. <laughs> Look at that, that's so pretty. Just gorgeous. Okay, so now this is gonna go on the top. I don't want to um, have to wait for glue. So I'm literally just going to take this tape and I'm going to go around. It is a little bit wider than my border, so I'm just going to have to be a little mindful when I pull it off to roll that edge. Now you certainly could use glue, you could use um, dot runner, I mean it really is up to you. To what you use. Okay. 
And something I just thought of is, you know, it depending on depending on your adhesive, it might be easier. Sorry, I'm just pulling this bottom up here into okay, perfect. Depending on your adhesive, you know, it might be easier to put this down along your shaker um, before you put all the shaker elements in it. It's just something I just thought of. And so I would say experiment with what you think works best for you. We're basically just putting a frame around that top. You could you could even leave it up open if you wanted to. Or leave it not open, leave it um just kind of leave it there. You can totally do that and put a sentiment on the front. This is very sticky tape, which is good. Definitely want sticky tape. All right, now I am going to very carefully go along the edge. Let me smooth that out. Okay. All right. So this is our shaker panel, and we're going to put this on here. So let's go ahead. This is going to be the quick and easy part. Okay. I say quick and easy. I know I'm a slow crafter. So I appreciate that you are still here with me because I do know that I am a slow crafter. All right, let's go ahead and get this card built so we can enjoy the fruits of our labor. All right, so we're going to fold the coffee card over, line it up, and then again, I'm just going to use my squeegee tool since I cannot locate my bone folder. Okay. And then we're going to get this. I'm going to put this down in here. We're going to get the inside. Okay. And a little bit of glue for float time. Down like that, give it a nice little border. Perfect. There we go. Okay, and then this is our front side. So all I did was I took it, okay, and this is the front, so I'm just going to flip it down like this. And, and we'll do our sentiment last. Okay, line that up. There we go. That's good. Okay, second layer. Perfect. And then this is going to be our shaker part. That's going to go just like that. All right, so now we're going to put, where did that tape go? 
we're going to put some more of this on the back. And I'm not using my three-dimensional foam tape because the shaker, even though it is, quote, flat, it is still got a little bit of dimension to it. Okay. These are thin widthwise but they work these are like little this is um this is actually this is from the dollar tree and it's literally just this super thin adhesive double-sided tape it's in the craft section and it is one of my favorite tapes because it holds but it doesn't it doesn't give any um any loft so if you're looking for you know, a double-sided tape that doesn't have any height to it. It's a good one. And it's only $1.25. Oh, I'm so excited about these cards because I think they're going to be so fun to give out. Okay. I'm going to move this up just a little bit. Alright, so I'm just going to slide. Actually, I want some float time. And you certainly could use 3D foam tape. And you could also do the shaker in the traditional way. That is totally whatever works for you. Okay. Move that over slightly. Perfect. Here is our cute little shaker card. And the only thing that we have left to do is our sentiment. And I have a secret weapon. So these are cut out of the sticker paper. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted them to be quick so they are already they already have adhesive on them which is great right. well, I just stuck the sticker paper on top of the other sticker paper and then what we're going to do is we're going to glue we're going to glue the pink one on top of all of that. Now the only drawback is that the sticker paper is white and my words are pink. So dimensionally you can see the white, but that'll be okay. All right, I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing over here. By the way, see there's still the sticker grid paper on the back, because we're gonna pull that off and stick it on top of our card. Okay, right, I'm gonna let these just sit for a minute and then we are gonna put them on the front of our card. So I'm gonna do a super quick 52 pickup and then we'll finish that up. Okay, we're down to the last few seconds of this card. And this is going to be really easy because we are literally going to lift up this little carrier sheet. And then, let's see. We are going to put these just like this on our card. So I'm going to have this one here. Perfect. And then I'm going to have this back one. Okay. 
There we go. Pressing that down really good. In hindsight, if I were to do this again, I would put the For You and this border on the shaker panel before I filled it. So I told you I'm not amazing at shaker cards, but I keep trying because every time I do one, I get better, and that is the point of crafting is to get better every time. These are now finished and they look great. So we have a shaker card and we have the ability to put the gift card in the middle. We have our sleeve card, our coffee sleeve here and our ability there to put a gift card. Okay, I'm not going to push that up so high this time. And then we have the original one, which I still, and I'm still trying to decide if I like this one or if I want to scrap it. I'm just not sure, but it definitely needs a sentiment if I decide not to scrap it. Well, I hope that you were able to get something out of this video, um, some information on making um, a shaker card, making coffee shaped cards with sleeves and no matter which style, being able to put in a little panel that allows you to hold a gift card or not, you know, or not, it's up to you. And so I hope that you found this was inspiring, informative, and a little bit fun because who doesn't love a great cup of coffee or at least a really nice shaker card? Don't forget to share this video with your crafty friends and hit that like button. That is actually a really good way to support the channel um, is just hitting that like button. Don't forget the comments below. Tell me if you are a coffee, tea, or perhaps maybe you are a soda person. And until I see you in the next video, I hope that you um, have an amazing rest of your week. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And until I see you in the next video, as always, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.